If you want to bring your Microsoft Word documents to the next level, it is important to know how to adjust certain layout related settings so that your documents look professional. The layout menu helps you create professional looking documents by allowing you to control page formatting, margins and other layout options like breaks, line and paragraph spacing and more. To access the layout menu simply click on the layout tab in the ribbon. One of the most important aspects of document layout is setting up your page size, orientation and margins. In the layout menu you can find these options in the page setup group. To change your document's page size, click on the size button and select the desired size from the drop down menu. To change the page orientation, click on the orientation button and choose either portrait or landscape. To adjust your document's margins, click on the margins button and choose from the available presets or select custom margins to enter your desired values. Interestingly enough, as you can see, even though the regional settings on this computer are set to use metric units, margins are still set in inches. 2.54 cm is 1 inch. The layout menu also allows you to easily format your document into multiple columns, which can be useful for creating newsletters, magazines or other multi-column layouts. To create columns, click on the Columns button in the Page Setup group and choose the desired number of columns or select more columns for additional options. If you do it without any text selected, then the selected column setting will apply to the whole document. However, if you select some text before changing the column setting, the change will apply only to the selected text. This is useful if you want to combine different column settings in one document. If you need to insert a break in your document, such as a page break, column break or section break, you can do so by using the breaks button in the page setup group. Adding a page break will move all text after that mark to the next page. If you want to separate your text by moving a part of it to the next page, it is a good idea to use page breaks instead of just pressing enter a number of times to get the text to the next page. The difference is that if you then want to add some more text before the page break, then the text will remain nicely formatted with page break, but if you only had added a number of empty lines, then the whole text will move. There are also other breaks that you can use here, but we will focus on them in another video. You can add line numbers to your document too. You can also choose different options for line numbering, for instance if it should be continuous or if it should restart at each page. Most documents do not show line numbers, so this option is rarely used, but there are certain situations where lines need to be numbered. This is the place to activate this option. You can also control hyphenation in your document. By default, there is no hyphenation selected, which means that if you justify your text, Word will only spread words equally through the lines, but it will not split word between the lines. If you choose automatic, Word will then decide itself which words can be hyphenated. Here you can see that it chose to split a couple of words. If you choose manual, then Word will go through each word it thinks should be hyphenated and will suggest it to you and you will be able to decide for each case separately. To adjust the indent and spacing in your document, use the indent and spacing options in the paragraph group of the layout menu. The indent settings define how much space is supposed to be added to the left or to the right of the current paragraph or selected text, and spacing defines how much space is supposed to be added before and after the paragraph. Setting before or after settings to a non-zero value allows you to get a clearer layout of the document. If you click on the expand arrow in the right hand bottom corner of the paragraph section, you will get to the same paragraph settings menu that you can open by expanding the paragraph section of the home menu, even if it displays other buttons. To help align objects and text in your document, you can use the alignment guides and grid available in the layout menu. To show or hide these guides, go to the arrange section and click on the line and then on the grid settings button. In the Grid and Guide dialog box, you can enable or disable the Snap Objects to Grid and Snap Objects to Other Objects option, as well as customize the grid spacing. Please note that if you select Displayed Alignment Guide, then the Displayed Grid Lines on Screen option gets deactivated, and if you select the latter one, then the first one gets inactive. You can toggle both options also directly from the drop-down menu after clicking on the Align button. 
If you display grid lines on the screen, then you will get horizontal and vertical lines shown to help you with alignment. Depending on what text wrapping option you have chosen for your object, you'll be able to move it to align better. You can change the position of the object by marking it and then picking the right option from the position drop-down menu and you can select different text wrapping options from the wrap text drop-down menu. The advantage with both these menus is that you can see a preview of each option just by hovering your mouse cursor over each alternative. The layout menu in Microsoft Word offers a wealth of powerful tools and features that allow you to create professional looking documents with ease. By mastering the layout menu, you'll be able to control your document's appearance, formatting and overall layout with precision and efficiency. Please make sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.